So there's a there's this beautiful analogy that is making its, its rounds in the world of spirituality and non-duality, and especially um, the Course in Miracles. And it's the it's the analogy of sitting in a cinema house, watching a screen of your life, a movie played out on a screen of your life, and you've gotten so engrossed in the pictures on the screen where you're playing a character that you forget you're in the movie house and you're now on the screen taking the story of your life very, very seriously. Now that is just unconscious, unconsciousness. So you're unconscious awareness, completely trapped in the duality of separate body minds and identities. And, and, and so in the course community in the non-dual community, we like to imagine that now we have, the master teacher sitting next to us. And in the course, specifically, it says, imagine Jesus is sitting next to you. He's holding your hand. And Jesus is showing you that what's on the screen is just a movie about your life. You're actually not on the screen. You're actually sitting next to Jesus. And he's holding your hand and he's and he's telling you to, you know, to close your eyes and not take the screen seriously. And then there's this analogy goes a little deeper and it says just, in, you know, switch off the movie projector, ask the projectionist to switch off the movie projector and realize what appeared to be animated pictures on the screen. There's actually only the screen and the screen is actually your true essential nature, just a blank screen, the infinite light of awareness. And Jesus is showing you that, you know, what's on the screen isn't real. I want to take it a little deeper. Imagine there's no Jesus. There's only Christ, and Christ is the light within you. Christ is the light which is always shining through you. But you're now still sitting in the cinema house, and you look up and you're trying to see a projector, and you don't actually, oh, there's no projector. And then you realize wherever I look, there goes the movie. So let me refocus on this. There's the movie. Okay, I realize I'm no longer a character on the screen. I realize there's only a screen and the screen is the light of awareness. But now I realize the projector is not something outside me. The projector is actually in my head. And the light which projects the image is the light of awareness. The image is my glasses. I've got glasses on in which there seems to be characters moving around. And I've taken these characters, these objectified characters who see their reality from a subjective projected perception point of view. So now I realize, hang a second, the projector's in my mind, and yet the light is what allows the images to appear and disappear. So I'm not going to switch off the light. I'm going to remove the lens, and the light is all I see. And then I transcend into realizing, hang a second, there's not only no longer a cinema or a screen or characters on the screen, there's only the light which flows from me. Hang on a second, there's no me. There's just light, okay? And as I step out of the cinema, now you've all been to the cinema during the day and it's all you're in darkness and you watch the movie and you go out through the dark corridors and all of a sudden you've opened the doors of the cinema and there's light all around you and you realize you were a little bit disorientated. You thought it was evening, but you were actually watching um, the, the morning matinee and now you're outside and it's actually the sun is still shining. The light is all around you. And this is what's happening to us. And this is what's happening to you. There's not only no screen, no characters on the screen, no cinema house, no Jesus, no projection. There's just the light of Christ-minded awareness shining through you. You've removed your, your glasses, which had pictures on it, and moving characters on it. You've removed the glasses. There's no more story. There's no past. There's no future. There's only the presence of awareness which is the light ever extending and yet it is the light that allowed us to see the movie and the movie was shown so that the light could be revealed the light within is revealed and let's get gratitude for the light within us the light with which we see god is the light with which we see christ is the light with which we see the screen the cinema the house the movie house but god is the light within and Christ is the light, extension of God. I am the light. Be still and know I am. Full stop. Not this. 
not a body, not the thoughts, be still and know I am. The I am, which is the essential nature of light, the primordial awareness of light, awareness of awareness. What is awareness? Light. What is light? Love, peace, joy. What is love, peace, joy? God, God's light, God's essence, energy. I am the essence, energy of God extended. Be still and know I am God. Be that knowingly.